now with our political analyst, Jonathan Carl and Matthew Dowd. And John, let me begin with you. We say this a lot in this campaign. We've never seen anything like this before. But right now you've got panic at the top ranks of the Republican Party. Trump seems to be at war with the entire party establishment right now. And, and you're reporting something pretty startling right now. You've got senior officials inside the Republican Party actually exploring what to do if Trump drops out? This is absolutely unprecedented. First of all, I am told that RNC Chairman Reince Priebus is furious that he has had multiple discussions with Trump telling him he needs to drastically change course. But here's the news. I am told that senior officials at the party are actively exploring what would happen if Trump dropped out, how to replace him on the ballot. The answer, George, is they can't force him out. He would have to go out voluntarily. And then it would be the 168 members of the RNC through a complicated process, they would pick a new candidate. It would have to happen by early but September. But they think that's a real possibility? They, he, he is so unpredictable right now. He is so, they are so unable to control his message that, uh, that they just don't know. And they clearly think it is a possibility, which is why they're looking at these rules. So, Matthew, Dad, let's look at the calculation for these other Republican leaders. So far, Paul Ryan, even though he's not endorsed by Donald Trump, not rescinding his endorsement. John McCain meeting with Mike Pence overnight, the vice presidential candidate, but not rescinding his, his endorsement either. At what point do the calculations change? Well, I think that's a really good question, George. I think, first of all, there's a question of principle. Is this the candidate they want to stand by in the course of this as a principled stand? They seem to have answered that already, which is yes. I think at some point, if he deteriorates, and right now, let's keep in mind, he's still within a shouting distance of Hillary Clinton after all of this. We haven't seen the results of the last 24 hours. But, George, Donald Trump reminds me of the movie Tin Cup where the Kevin Cosner character, Roy McAvoy, keeps dropping the ball and hitting it in the lake, and he ends up on a 13 on the hole while the crowd watches this whole thing unfold. We are watching this unfold in a way that we've never seen before. And one of the reasons, John Carl, some of the Republicans still standing by Trump, it, it appears that he still has some ability to raise some money for them. Uh, he does. And, George, I have to say that the, the frustration is especially deep because they believe that Hillary Clinton looks vulnerable, exactly as, as, as Matthew said. She's actually had a bad few days. The DNC has gone through a whole uh, shakeup. You know, the, 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 uh, she, she misstated what the FBI director said about her emails. One top official told me if Trump had gone on vacation for the past two weeks, he would be in the lead. But, yes, he can still raise money, and he still has support among the Republican uh, rank and file. This does appear to be masking Hillary Clinton's weaknesses, Matt. Oh, yeah, it does. I mean, you have two characters. We've talked two very flawed characters, two characters, two candidates in the course of this who have the highest unfavorability rating we've ever seen in a presidential contest and an environment that actually helps Donald Trump. I think that's what most frustrates Republicans in this. They, are, they think this is the perfect time to capture the White House, and they have somebody that keeps committing pilot error in the course of this day in and day out. Okay, Matthew Dowd, John Carl, thanks very much.